Hi, my name is Joan Walsh. I'm the Bertrand Chair of Ornithology at Mass Audubon, and thanks for joining us today for our video blog, Today's Bird. Today we're going to be talking about a bird that in the winter you'll see in large flocks descending on fruit trees and vines. As spring advances, they may come onto your lawns and line up in almost military precision. As spring go goes even further, you'll start to see just one or two are left. Then you'll start to see them carrying nest material, pulling worms from the ground. This is our favorite bird around the house and garden. This is the American Robin. Hi again, uh, my name is Evan Sibley. I am a stage actor, bird watcher, and general lover of the outdoors. And I'm back again to talk to you about our most well-known member of the thrush family, the robin. Both male and female robins have similar plumage patterns, including the dark head, subtle white spectacles, and the copyrighted red breast. But male robins are far more saturated in color. Most of the robins in this video are male robins, which are most easily distinguished by the hard line between the dark gray color of their head and the more pale gray color of their back and wings. In the spring and summer, when robins primarily hunt worms, their feeding habits are really worth watching. You'll see them tilt their head to the side, catching a worm in their gaze, and then quickly lunging forward, thrusting their head towards the earth, and hopefully coming up with a catch. Interestingly enough, robins also played a central role in our relationship to birds in the United States. In the year 1910, there were very few laws protecting birds, and the Audubon Society was in its infancy. A woman by the name of Margaret Olivia Sage had grown concerned for the state of robin populations in the southern United States, where they were considered a game bird. And in 1910, she donated to the National Association of Audubon Societies to start a series of educational programs to enlist children to learn about native birds and to, quote, be kind to them. And thus, the Audubon Junior Naturalist Movement had begun. Millions of children have joined the Junior Naturalist Club and have been given lessons on common birds and habitat protection, conservation, and science. One of those children was none other than Roger Tory Peterson, who went on to lead the program in the 1940s and took it to great heights. Peterson once wrote, The future of American wildlife lies in the hands of our children. The child, if made cognizant of the existence and needs of wildlife, is its staunchest champion in later years. So, our little red-breasted friends are who we have to thank for ultimately launching a movement that has taught millions of children the value of the natural world. I'll leave you with that lovely note, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today. Roger Peterson was also famously the father of the American Field Guide, and I want to give a shout out to him for the per as the person who built the field guide that most of us carried around stuffed in our pockets we couldn't be separated with, especially during the fall when we opened to the page famously called Confusing Fall Warblers. I also wanted to take the time to give a shout out to one of my colleagues, Amy Widensall, who's our sanctuary director at Ipswich River. Amy wrote a dissertation on the Audubon Junior Naturalist Clubs, and she gave me the prompt for this video blog about American Robin. And below you'll see the URL where you can find Amy's dissertation, and I suggest that you give it a go because it's the most re readable PhD dissertation I've ever read. Thanks, Amy, and thank you for joining us. See you soon. Hi there. It's uh, Evan again. This is a bit of a video postscript, if you will. I just have a slight bone to pick with the original Julie Andrews film of Mary Poppins. Miss Poppins is visited by our friend, the American Robin. This, of course, is not particularly accurate, considering that the English have their own Robin, simply called the Robin, that they could have used just as well, and is really a very cute, perfect little bird. Thanks for watching.